what it is. It's an embroidery hoop which I personally really really love as a jewelry item and so I've made a prototype and here it is. It's, it's not perfect <laughs> obviously, it's just the prototype for now. Well I mean it is a finished jewelry. <laughs> Ju jewel jewelry piece <laughs> um, but I know the next ones will be slightly different but yeah it's inspired by all these embroidery hoops and I tried to replicate with different uh, rotary tool attachments like a fabric texture on the metal 
but then I realized I could actually use rolling <laughs> rolling mill to do that <laughs> So yeah, with the next ones, there will be an actual fabric print on the metal. And as for what will be on here, well, I think the possibilities are endless. So I will be definitely using um, all the other elements that I've used in the past. Um, but I will probably try and create kind of like a stitch um stitching pattern so we'll see how that w goes but yeah for now this is with beautiful turquoise i've added some handmade flowers To show you something so I I was looking for a backdrop for photos and I didn't want to buy or make a wooden backdrop because I didn't want to get it into this flat just yet um, so I wanted a simpler solution perfectly uh, or ideally <laughs> um, like a piece of paper with a backdrop uh, that would serve as a backdrop. So that's what I ordered on Amazon. It has 20 designs of wooden patterns which are perfect for taking photos. I'm so excited. This one, I really like this one. And it also has like blue ones, natural ones, and white ones. There we go. They're really great. I am going to experiment and see how photos will look like with these backdrops. And the great thing is that you don't get just one of each. You get I three, yeah, three of each design, which is amazing. I uh, I will link this one in the description uh, in the description box below. I got it on Amazon UK. You would have to check if you have it um, in your country, but I'm sure you would be able to find something similar. So yeah, this is called Craft Papers by Craft Consortium, and it's wood textures. or something like that. A lot of people were doing this and there was one thing that really was very exciting personally to me to try. I got inspired by 
Kendall from uh, Kendall Ray uh, on YouTube. She creates content mostly like true crime, but also unexplained phenomena with her uh, husband Josh. They have really amazing podcast called Mile Higher, which I really, really recommend. And I really like Kendall. And she tried it during lockdown, which is color depositing mask in the color rose gold and the color on her hair turned out so lovely and nice that she really inspired me to try it and I'm gonna do it today and fingers crossed it's gonna look okay <laughs> actually fun fact in high school I did have uh, half of my hair was uh, dyed red or more like purple purple red um, but that was actual um, hair dye, whereas this washes off, <laughs> so that's definitely much better, um, personally to me, because it's temporary and I wouldn't want to dye my hair right now uh, temp uh, permanently. So yeah, I'm gonna try it and I'm really excited to see how that's gonna look, because I really, really wanted to do something fun with my hair. I always keep it long. I actually, I've only, I've cut my hair only once in my lifetime and it was this like um, shoulder length and that was about when I was nine and since then I was just, you know, trimming my hair a little bit here and there. Last year I've experimented and I had exactly the same length uh, with my hair, but last year I've cut my like front part of hair because I really wanted to do something fun again. Not too sure if that was a good idea, but never mind, never mind. Hair grows, luckily. So a year later it definitely looks much better now. <laughs> so it's time to do another mistake. <laughs> no, hopefully this won't be a mistake. Well, okay. Uh, so I washed my hair now and you're supposed to apply it on your like towel dried hair and not dry but like your hair is still supposed to be a bit wet um, and leave it for five to seven minutes and then you wash it off so yeah let's let's see it's a hair mask so I don't think I, I should need a, a little <laughs> Gloves, but I'm gonna use them anyway just in case because I don't know if that will leave stains. They give, gave me, they send it with their like little uh, hair comb. Um, so yeah, let's, let's just do it. It says um, to apply generous amount, whatever that means. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put a generous amount in here and I'm not dyeing all of my hair like I'm not gonna apply it to all of my hair just bottom part okay <laughs> well it smells very nice <laughs> my hair is already dry I was taking too long <laughs> I should part my hair first Oh, I'm so good at this. <laughs> Shh. Don't say anything. Mm. Oh my god. It's getting pink. The color is very purple. It definitely doesn't look like rose gold like in in the original form but on light to medium blonde hair it's supposed to turn like rose gold I guess we will see <laughs> I don't have a lot of hair and they are very fine um, so that's definitely good <laughs> economic <laughs> option when you're using a product like that. You don't have to use a lot of oil. 
to uh, to put it all over. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> combing my hair at all. <laughs> I got a smaller one, so I'm gonna use the tiny one. Tiny one for tiny hair. It's meant to stay on your hair for a few washes, so depending on how often you wash your hair. Okay, I think it's evenly spread now. Let's wait five to seven minutes, then wash it off and then dry my hair and we'll see how it turned out. Okay, I've washed it off and I think I might have used too little of the product, so we'll see. But I'm actually happy with that because I'd rather have too little the first time and only on the bottom of my hair than too much. So, let's see the final effect. Okay, so this is definitely less of a color than I expected, but like I said, I, I'd rather have less and then apply a little bit more than have something that I will regret. Okay, I'm happy. <laughs> um, what I mean is that my hair is darker on the camera. Those kids. Oh. My hair is darker on the camera, so the color is not as light on the camera as well. But yeah, other than that, I'm very happy. I'm happy. <laughs> I'm very excited. I hope you've enjoyed this little beauty corner. Anyway, thanks so much for watching this beauty corner of mine. And I hope you've enjoyed it. <laughs> I like having fun like this, but I don't like it when the effect is irreversible. Okay back to other stuff.